Phosphorus pentoxide is a chemical compound with molecular formula P4010 with its common name derived from its empirical formula, P2O5. This white crystalline solid is the anhydride of phosphoric acid. It is a powerful desiccant and dehydrating agent. Structure Phosphorus pentoxide crystallizes in at least four forms or polymorphs. The most familiar one, a metastable form, shown in the figure, comprises molecules of P4010. Weak van der Waals forces hold these molecules together in a hexagonal lattice however, in spite of the high symmetry of the molecules, the crystal packing is not a close packing. The structure of the P4010 cage is reminiscent of adamantane with TD symmetry point group. It is closely related to the corresponding anhydride of phosphorus acid, P406. The latter lacks terminal oxo groups. Its density is 2.30 g per cc. It boils at 423 degrees Celsius under atmospheric pressure, if heated more rapidly it can sublimate. This form can be made by condensing the vapor of phosphorus pentoxide rapidly, the result is an extremely hygroscopic solid. The other polymorphs are polymeric, but in each case the phosphorus atoms are bound by a tetrahedron of oxygen atoms, one of which forms a terminal P equals O bond involving the donation of the terminal oxygen P orbital electrons to the antibonding phosphorus oxygen single bonds. The macromolecular form can be made by heating the compound in a sealed tube for several hours, and maintaining the melt at a high temperature before cooling the melt to the solid. The metastable orthorhombic O form density 2.72 g per cc, melting point 562 degrees Celsius, adopts a layered structure consisting of interconnected P606 rings, not unlike the structure adopted by certain polysilicates. The stable form is a higher density phase, also orthorhombic, the so-called O form. It consists of a three-dimensional framework, density 3.5 g per cc. The remaining polymorph is a glass or amorphous form, it can be made by fusing any of the others. Preparation P4010 is prepared by burning tetraphosphorus with sufficient supply of oxygen. P4 plus 502P4010 For most of the 20th century, phosphorus pentoxide was used to provide a supply of concentrated pure phosphoric acid. In the thermal process, the phosphorus pentoxide obtained by burning white phosphorus was dissolved in dilute phosphoric acid to produce concentrated acid. Improvements in filter technology is leading to the wet phosphoric acid process. Taking over from the thermal process, obviating the need to produce white phosphorus as a starting material. The dehydration of phosphoric acid to give phosphorus pentoxide is not possible as on heating metaphosphoric acid will boil without losing all its water. Applications Phosphorus pentoxide is a potent dehydrating agent as indicated by the exothermic nature of its hydrolysis. P4010 plus 6H2O4H3PO4 minus 177 kilojoules. However, its utility for drying is limited somewhat by its tendency to form a protective viscous coating that inhibits further dehydration by unspent material. A granular form of P4010 is used in desiccators. Consistent with its strong desiccating power, P4010 is used in organic synthesis for dehydration. The most important application is for the conversion of primary amides into nitriles. P4010 plus RCO NH2 P4 Nona oxygen dehydroxide plus RCNTHE indicated coproduct P4 Nona oxygen dehydroxide is an idealized formula for undefined products resulting from the hydration of P4010. Alternatively, when combined with a carboxylic acid, the result is the corresponding anhydride P4010 plus RCO2HP4 Nona oxygen dehydroxide plus RCO2 auth. Onodera reagent. A solution of P4010 in DMSO, is employed for the oxidation of alcohols. This reaction is reminiscent of the Swern oxidation. The desiccating power of P4010 is strong enough to convert many mineral acids to their anhydrides. 
Examples HNO3 is converted to N2O5, H2SO4 is converted to SO3, hydrogen hypochlorite is converted to dechlorine heptoxide, CF3SO3H is converted to cf 2 s 5 Related phosphorus oxides Between the commercially important P406 and P4010, phosphorus oxides are known with intermediate structures. Hazards Phosphorus pentoxide is not flammable. Just like sulfur trioxide, it reacts vigorously with water and water-containing substances like wood or cotton, liberates much heat and may even cause fire. It is corrosive to metal and is very irritating, it may cause severe burns to the eye, skin, mucous membrane, and respiratory tract even at concentrations as low as 1 mg per cubic meter. Fiction in Anthony Burgess' The Wanting Seed, phosphorus pentoxide is a highly prized compound. In Detective Comics No. 825, Batman notices that phosphorus pentoxide was at the scene of a fire, indicating that the villain Dr. Phosphorus was involved. In Aldous Huxley's Point Counterpoint, Lord Edward bemoans societal loss of phosphorus pentoxide to his assistant Illage. In Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, Henry Foster tells Lenina about the recovery of phosphorus pentoxide. In The Tunnel, Season 1, Episode 6, a victim was consumed by a fire started with phosphorus pentoxide. See also Eaton's reagent References External links OSHA Spec sheet Definition Website of the Technische Universität Darmstadt and the SEEP about phosphorus recovery